Hi, in this video I'm going to give you a demonstration of OptiSurface Designer's new feature for runoff analysis. This is particularly useful for looking at erosion hotspots and uh, managing those. Here's a screenshot of, um, of this particular feature's output with uh, showing runoff velocity. And we'll um, basically look at this case study field for this uh, video. Here is the um, existing topography of that field. Uh, there's roughly uh, four, 15 metres fall over um, uh, one and a half kilometres in this direction here. The area of the field is roughly 500 hectares. We can look at that same field in 3D view, isometric view, and you can see it's falling down in this direction here, with the lowest part of the field, um, a different and a ridge coming through here and here. Okay, in OptiSurface Designer, this is the the setting dialog box for runoff analysis. You can see that uh, we can select the existing surface or the proposed surface to do our analysis on. The, we define a calculation grid, in this case 10 meters. Then we define our hydrology, which is basically our rainfall and um, and some runoff characteristics. We can also define furrows to which actually you know, channel the water in the direction of the furrows. Okay, after we click OK, the uh, OptiService Designer goes away and calculates our um, runoff statistics and maps. And this is the, the summary statistics for the analysis. We have, again, the field area is 550 hectares. The rainfall duration event was three hours. We put a total of 101, 100.6 millimetres of rainfall on during that three hours event. The runoff coefficient was 60%. Uh, the maximum runoff velocity was 0.84 of a meter in, in one location, and the maximum runoff depth was 0.2 of a meter. This particular field would take approximately uh, 10 minutes, probably, to calculate this. These results. Uh, it's particularly sensitive to the calculation grid spacing. 10 meters is is quite uh, quite usable. Okay, onto the map results. The this is our primary result, which is useful for looking at erosion. We have a ma maximum runoff velocity during the rainfall event. The red areas show runoff velocity is greater than 0.4 of a meter per second, which is getting up there towards you know, velocities that cause significant uh, real erosion and things like that. So you can see there's quite a few areas here where that is constant, the runoff is concentrated, and we're getting those type of uh, velocities on both sides of this ridge. And here's the other result that we get from this analysis is the maximum runoff depth during the rainfall event. So the red areas here are um, uh, point 0 0.8 of a meter deep, or um, you know, about three inches deep. Again, those higher depths generally coincide with uh, the higher velocities. Although you can get ponding areas which will have low velocities, <coughs> but uh, reasonable depths. So here's an aerial photograph of the same field from Google Earth, and if you look closely, you can see rills that have occurred in this field over time uh, and those the general pattern of those rills match quite closely to the simulated uh, high velocity areas from our analysis so you can see those rill areas up here quite similar with the red areas and then the the red areas through this this part of the uh, field are quite similar to the the rules shown in the aerial photograph. This orange rectangle here is just the area that we've zoomed in on. 
I'll show you that in a sec. So you can see the rules uh, there, and then if we look at the same zoomed area for the velocity map, we've got quite a similar pattern. So as you can see, this is an extremely powerful tool, and uh, a world's first in terms of a commercial tool to allow to allow people to look at the erosion risk of agricultural fields, and then mitigate those risks with uh, various uh, options. Some options could include uh, putting terrace or contour banks in the field, and then you can rerun the analysis and look at the impact of those additions to, in the topography to the runoff depth and uh, velocity and ponding. You can you may change your row direction and uh, and look at that effect. You can also look at uh, optimum surface landforming, which may involve smoothing out the field and reducing the concentration of, uh, of the runoff. So all in all it's uh, a very powerful tool and um, if you need to know anything more about it, please contact me.